Empress Lux Sashay, please like and subscribe. Thank you to those that already do. Here to do a reading for Krishan Rock. Now that she's released, what's the energy around her now that she has been released? Um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna start with the angels and ancestor messages. Okay, by the way, I had a download a message for her, so I was like, let me do this reading. She's gonna get caught. Like, I don't know if there's gonna be video proof or something recorded that she's gonna get caught in something. Like, oh, I didn't do it, but there's gonna be proof that she did do it, and this could lead to some bad news for her. That's the download. Um, so let's get into the angels and ancestor messages I have for her. By the way, the witch wanted to come out for her too, which, you know, talks about Wicca, paganism, and I just did the blue face reading and that came out for him. Okay. The first card that came out for her was Seer. That cease, I mean, cease past your current situation. I don't feel like that's her energy. I feel like someone's actively going to an oracle, a psychic, doing some sort of divination to look into her like i mean people do a couple of readings on her but i feel like someone connected to her that knows her actually knows her is going to somebody to see beyond the, her current situation like to see what's next for her and i don't think it's her next we have elder healing through the lineage what spirit is telling her is your ancestor her ancestor guides or like the people around her at this time is great for her healing Great healing is unfolding for her and is carving a newfound freedom for her lineage, her family. Um, next is Night, Be Brave and Honest. This talks about she needs to do the right thing, even if it isn't the easiest option. She needs to stand for what she knows to be right and true. Next, we have uh, Protection Guardian, Drop Your Shields. Spirit wants her to drop any shields of shame, resistance, and fear that is standing between her and her chances of enjoyment and fun. She needs to know that she doesn't need to hide who she is or the gifts that she has. She's born to shine. Let's get to the... Um, well, damn, I just picked something up. <laughs> Something's going to be revealed about her because I just accidentally picked up it's the moon and the empress. Something's going to be revealed about her or a mother figure connected to her. Um... Maybe somebody said they walked away. They didn't necessarily walk away from something. Uh, ooh, King of Wands energy reverse. Play a player. Someone having unclear objectives about a mother figure and it's hidden, but something's going to come to the surface. I didn't even see that because that literally was hidden. I went to pick up some other cards. But Spirit is saying we have the Death and the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck for the first spread. Spirit is an eight of swords. I mean, she's resisting a change and um, this is putting things at a standstill for her. She's so worried and disappointed about her family being broke up, this family conflict, this this uh, disunity, destroyed art harmony. There could be some arguments within a family dynamic. Um, this the eight of swords came out for her twice, so that talks about her having freedom, injustice, being forgiven, release from this uh, constraint, being free. However, there's a family conflict that's a breakup. So it's like, okay, I'm free, but she's still refusing to set us, uh, accept a certain ending. And, you know, I feel like that's with Blueface because he's locked up. But she's free. But she still doesn't have it exactly where she, how she wants it to be, you know. Let me, before I get into the tarot, I got a lot, um, get into the oracle messages. I got lies at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be doing some kind of altar work. Whether that's praying to God or praying to somebody else, but it's, it's there. Spirit is highlighting an auntie or uncle. This person may need a loan or something. That could be like a sister or brother to her or actual auntie or uncle. There's a focus on family matters. I got tarot. Somebody's, you know, something about divination here. I got a message about heaven. Message from the universe. Secrets from heaven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, attraction. She could be hiding money. She's either watching something or somebody's watching her. Um, I got <laughs> a message of like nasty, but I feel like is nasty lies coming out about her. I also got ritual released. Uh, Aries may be significant to her. Paying someone off. 
shoot. I don't know what somebody's going to say. Something about an STD or something along those lines, allegedly. Something like that. Hidden income for her. The full moon is being highlighted. Didn't that come out for Blueface? Yeah, I think it came out for Blueface. Business deals, that came out for Blueface, definitely. And Pieces of Me, that came out for Blueface, too. If it's not, you know, a sexually transmitted disease, I feel like somebody may, like, maybe, like, nasty lies come out about her. Let's get to the first spread. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is, you know, uh, she's focused on business, building her empire. But I'm not going to lie. Um, the first card that came out is, like, the energy of her being bitter or um, not really, like, a lack of gratitude from her being free. From like this energy of this victimization and entrapment. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like there's a, she has this energy of feeling like she was singled out for cruel and unjust treatment. Or she will be. Um, like feeling like she, it's the energy of her being caught in a, like in a trap. Her actually being caught. So that keeps coming out like her energy of her being caught in some aspect so whatever that is it could make her bitter she could be bitter about being caught in whatever that is or I'm feeling like she's a victim like people were picking on her and that's they're being cruel to her um i see her winning something like a judgment going in her favor but it's a tarnished victory Turns victory, you know, you still win, but it's a, a not such a great win because Charnish is like to lose or to cause luster. Um, so it's not a great win. <laughs> um, then I see like her still maintaining optimism. Then I got the justice card, so you know, we know she's going through the legal situation, so I see some kind of fairness. But um, it's paired with the Four of Pentacles, which talks about hoarding your assets. Um, if this is on Martha Stewart on this card when she was arrested. So I feel like she's hiding her money, particularly because of this legal situation. It's like a uh, decision being made that's going to affect her finances. I don't know what this is. It's like she's still kind of bitter. Even though I got this win, it's not the win I wanted. And I'm bitter about it. Even though the spirit is saying it still was fair. It could have been worse. Okay. I got 4, 5, J, 8, J, 4. Damn. J, J, uh, J 2 J's. Um, and Q. Going to the next spread, um, as Spirit is saying, she is just either she's just squandering her talent or gifts, or like not really focused on working and being careless or burnt out. So she's like, I'm just gonna take a break. I just got out. Like, let me chill. Uh, then we have Temperance, which talks about a positive event, uh, a prayer being answered, uh, healing, being patient, paired with the Page of Cups. Her being emotional, sensitive, getting some inspiring news possibly. Her really being her emotions, like this answered my prayers. Uh, it embraces the innocence she has in her. Uh, I feel like she's super focused on eternal healing. I don't see much focus on work. What does that mean? She just got out. I get it. Uh, Page of Pentacles reverse pair with the Nine of Swords reverse. Um, I see some kind of healing. Like trying to get in control, um, it's particularly healing the lack of opportunity she's getting financially. Um, she could be being overly materialistic, like I, she got some money in the bank, but she wants some more. Um, Spirit is saying she could be being immature or will be immature for money. There's an energy of immaturity, irresponsible or slack of opportunities. 
Um, and then Spirit, lastly, is highlighting, like, bad memories that is putting her in material and spiritual poverty or, like, in this helpless energy or this hardship or financial difficulties or this desperate energy she has. It could signify bad health, illness, or, uh, like, a temporary hardship or resilience because of things that happened in the past. Uh, I kind of feel like she could be um, wanting more kids. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think Blueface reading spoke about a baby in heaven. And now we have something about kids here. But overall, it's like negative memories of the past. She's realizing it's the cause of her being out in the cold in some aspect. It's the cause of this helpless energy. I feel like she's going to get some kind of good news that it's, she's going to like really get to her emotions it's going to help her heal get her some kind of recuperation reduce the anxiety she's experiencing like there's a light coming with this temporary hardship so spirit is saying she needs to be resilient i feel like there's going to be some healing with the lack of opportunities for her but there could be some hindrance because of negative memories of her or her history like opportunities could be coming for her but because of who she used to be or who she was could be hindering her hindering those opportunities but overall i feel like she's still trying to be optimistic girl like i'm out i'm free you know that's the biggest thing a lot of emotions here as long as she's gonna get caught in though Judgment about this Turner's victory or this Turner's victory getting a judgment, getting a judgment call. Oh, because I think, doesn't she have court sometime at the end of this month? All right, she has a lot of legal situations going on. Let me see, do I want to? Um, no, I'm gonna leave it there for her. So, I see some money issues. Um, that could be that energy of I'm free but I'm bitter about that I need to um, make sure I protect all my access 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 all my assets um, protect the money I do have protect myself particularly when it comes to the legal situation we did get high in money here that could be um, this energy of her not working too hard or, or um, not working hard out at, at all because she's not really focused on that I don't know, she feels like if I get back to work right away or let it be known I'm working right away, people are watching what she does financially because we did get somebody watching her. I'm trying to see, you know, by watching her bag. I mean, just to be messy, let's see how Jaden feels about <laughs> her being free. Maybe she doesn't care. Jaden over there doing what she do too. Let's see. How does Jaden Alexis feel about Krishan about being free? Hmm. Something's gonna be healed. <laughs> Something gonna be healed. Something's gonna be revealed. Um, ooh, they don't really have a relationship. I feel like Jaden is trying to be free from attachments because of the negative influence of this other man or blue face. Um, could be Sam. I see a new beginning with this relationship though. Jaden is looking into something. She could be going to like a spiritual person or something. Like really contemplating, receiving guidance. And choosing solitude. There's that King of Wands. Play player and the Eight of Cups reverse. <laughs> she could be thinking about do I want to return to Blueface if Krishan not dealing with him? She's the one watching. I got that Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It's like she's she's watching. Like there's belated news, poor communications, and the energy of watching. Like maybe social media or seeing it on social media. Um, there's a wrong action uh, based on a financial instability. She's trying to prioritize and focus. Personally, I don't think she give 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 a care. I see like a new beginning for her. 
but I feel like it's with <coughs> blue face. There's the King of Swords here, which is typically the Is this saying she feels like they shouldn't have um, released her? Clarify. Clarify the King of Swords reverse, because there's two male energy here. There was King of Swords here. There's some kind of big moment that's going to happen, like that links to bad news pertaining to the situation. About an altercation where somebody's gonna have to pay. How the f how is this in Jaden's energy though? Like, this is Krishan. Like, she's still gonna have to pay up because of an altercation that happened. this in Jada's energy is the part that behooves me but yeah they don't really have it's a distrust there we ain't really cool we don't really have a relationship Jada's trying to detach from unhealthy forces overcome evil <laughs> it's something gonna be revealed I don't know why that came out in her energy I feel like she's thinking about returning back to a certain aspect with the relationship with Blueface or oh, he is something there about that too. She's looking into something, contemplating introspection. I see some kind of new beginning with this King of Wands person. Something this relationship is not a remote attachment, relationship, not having a relationship. And ruthless action of this other man. Something being revealed. I don't know if it's like somebody else is going to twist the truth about Jaden's relationship with Krishan or something about how she feels about Krishan. It could be lies or just arterial motives for this other person. Like it's like something like that is going to be revealed too. How does Blueface feel about Krishan Rock being released? Um, <laughs> oh, um, emotionally, he's okay. But, like, he feels like it's bad news because I guess things are at a standstill for him. Um, like, he's overly cautious. There's the energy of overly cautious and something being unreliable. And there's that energy of workaholic or, like, not working or being burnt out. Um, and then it talks about, like, some kind of new decision he's making to maintain power and focus just on prosperity and success. Like, he's being deeply intellectual about this new decision, but it comes off as a new challenge, a new conquest for victory. Um, there's some insecurities and a lack of confidence about her being free. I don't know if this is the same because she's immature or he's immature or that talks about the whole situation. Um, there's a dragging energy dealing with his emotions for her. And then there's that Five of Pentacles energy again, like something about health, illness, a temporary hardship, being out in the cold resilience like this helpless energy desperation like material and spiritual poverty destitute Ugh. that just drained I see a damn fly flower <laughs> excuse me Ugh. maybe I shouldn't have pulled nothing for them um alright I'm gonna end it there bye